Hi guys, this is Q coming to you from DIY Genesis. Happy New Year. And we wanted to start the new year off with a great and wonderful tutorial. So right now I have a client that wants to change out their text logo and turn that into their branded logo. So we're gonna take it's this text logo here, as you can see, and we're gonna fill this with the branded logo from the client. So one of the first things that we obviously need to do here in this instance is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sign into the back office and then, okay, here we are, we're signed in already. And then, now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do here is you're gonna move down to appearance and then you're gonna select customize. Now this is gonna bring up another menu that's really important for us. And then once we're here, you're actually gonna go into what's called site identity. Site identity. All right, great. So now that we've done that, you can see right here, this is where we wanna be in order to deal with our logo. Now, one important thing that you need to note here is that your logo has to be a specific width and height. That means that's, that's a specific dimension of the logo. In order for it to look natural and a part of the flow of the site, we wanna make sure that that dimension is adhered to so that it fits your website, it looks good, and it flows with the rest of the site. So how do we determine what that dimension is so we know what size our logo should be? Great question. So how do we do that? We're gonna click on select logo, and here we go. As this opens up another menu here for us, we can see under the media library tab, you see the text suggested image dimensions. That's what we want. That's the dimensions we're looking for. So in this instance, this logo size needs to be 760 pixels wide by 180 pixels high. That's important to remember that so that the image that we create for the logo fits perfectly into the site overall flow and hierarchy. So in this instance, in this particular video tutorial, we're not gonna be talking about how we actually create those dimensions. We've already done that. In another video, I will certainly dive into that and we'll talk specifically about how to create those dimensions, how to open up Photoshop and actually be able to get that image to look right and be ready to go into that header. All right, so right now we're just gonna go ahead and select the client logo. And as you can tell, the client logo is already set to the right dimension, 760 by 180 pixels. Then we hit select. And now we have another menu that pops up and this is built into WordPress. This gives us an opportunity to do any additional cropping to ensure that this image matches with the dimensions that we need. But in our case, we've already set the right dimensions, so we don't need to worry about setting the dimensions in this case. We're just gonna go ahead and click on Skip Cropping, and you'll see here shortly, here it is. Bam, there it is. The client logo, the branded logo sits in there, looks beautiful, sits in there perfectly the way it needs to sit. Now, right now, you may think you're done, you're not. We got one last thing we need to really focus on and work on here in order to make sure that this is complete to client satisfaction. And actually, as you do it yourself personally, so that you can see the results you wanna see on the front end. One thing that we need to do here is we need to make sure we hit this publish button. That's what's gonna ensure that the logo goes live. That once we change out that text to the image logo, it goes live. So now we see that it says publish. So now we can switch over back over to the live site. And you can see that it's not showing the new branded logo yet, but once we hit the refresh in the browser, bam, there it is. We see our branded logo beautifully set, ready to go. And that's just as easy as it gets and simple to do, very smooth, very straightforward. Now, I wanna help you to understand that I'm using a theme from Studio Press called Magazine Pro. And this particular theme, if you wanna follow along, I'll put a link in the description. And also I'll put a link to Genesis Framework because you can't use this uh, Studio Press theme without the Genesis Framework. So I'll put a link to the Magazine Pro theme as well as the Genesis Framework in the description section below. And Again, this is uh, Q coming to you from DIY Genesis. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any additional questions, 
please feel free to reach out to me. I'll put my contact information in the description below as well. Please make sure you subscribe, that you like, that you comment, and that you hit that notification bell so that you can make sure that you get notified each and every time we produce new videos because we're going to be using this magazine pro theme for quite a few more videos and we want to make sure that you keep up to date so if there's anything you want to see please again reach out and make the comment to let us know um, again hit that like button subscribe notification bell so that we can uh, continue to stay in contact thanks so much for coming and visiting us today on diy genesis and i look forward to talking to you guys again next time